Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Talk with Simangeli. If you're joining us for the first time, I'd like to give you a warm welcome to this beautiful family where we educate, inform and get to share different perspectives on different topics. So, at the beginning of the 21-day lockdown, which is now extended, I shared with you guys um, a plan on how I will be going about my 21-day lockdown and also I did mention that I will you know, do a reflection on the 20th or the 21st day of the lockdown. But since the lockdown is extended, I thought I'd give a mid-reflection of how I find the lockdown, right? And this is my reflection. At some point in time, I found myself reminiscing of 2019. As much as 2019 was not that of a good year, I still feel like maybe we should have, should have just went back a bit. And also, I find myself thinking about 2021 and 2022 already. Um, why 2022 already? Because um, 2021, it would be more like a catch up time for many individuals they will want to they will want to you know do the things that they wanted to do this year that they couldn't do and 2022 because you know so many things will be much clearer and yeah so that's what i've been thinking about i've been reminiscing about 20, 2019 and thinking about 2021 and most importantly 2022 i mean think about it 2020 is almost done when the lockdown is done it's going to be May um, or June, whenever the lockdown will be done. But it doesn't mean that um, we'll still not be facing this pandemic. It, you know, life will basically be very different. Our perspectives will change. Our purpose will be realigned. And so much so um, uh, that, you know, at this moment in time, other individuals have been really doing a self-reflection or self self-introspection about how they will go about um life after the 21 day lockdown or rather the whole month lockdown basically april is crushed out like scratched out of the calendar and we're probably going to begin our our month i don't know the fourth month which is may supposed to be the fifth month um in just few few weeks right so my 21 day um lockdown was mainly filled with reflection but a lot of uh learning time i did mention that you know i'm going to give myself time to learn i'm going to give myself time to create opportunities for me in order uh you know to make uh either a living or make a brand for myself um i'm already a brand and the brand is God's brand, right? But, um, you know, I, I, I want to be more uh, intentional about the things that I do and, you know, the things that I involve myself in. And hence, this 21-day lockdown or this whole month, April lockdown, uh, gave me the opportunity to look at my vision board and go back to it again and just think about, okay, I've mentioned that this is what I want to do uh, in 2020. How far have I come? And how far along is this project? And, you know, when I look at it and I realize like, oh my goodness, um, the year is almost done. And I'm excited. And also, I believe that I can do more. I'm excited that there's so many things that I wanted to do. And I've already started and, you know, I think the most important thing is to start and I've already started them and it's already the fourth month of the year. So that means I have about eight months uh, to complete the things that I wanted to do. And, you know, I gave it to God. It's like, you know, these are my plans and many are, you know, individuals plans, but it's God's plan that prevails. And I said, you know, these plans Lord, I know that they're aligned with, you know, what you want me to do as an individual or my purpose in life. And I believe that, you know, when you're not leaving your purpose or when you're not, you know, in line with um, what your purpose is, it's more of a wasted um, life. So the more you realize what your purpose is, the more you live your life to the full. And that's what kept on, you know, 
ringing in my head or ringing in my mind and say purpose 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 and it 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 just dawned on me that you know life is really about purpose and our purposes are different so therefore you'd hear people saying um you know we are different you're unique and if it wasn't louder it became even louder during this 21 day lockdown because you realize that you know you are by yourself there are so little voices that's that's going to influence you when you're sitting down by yourself because you're not keeping yourself busy with either work school or you know friends going out but then you find yourself sitting by yourself and thinking really what is your purpose and maybe i should ask you guys what is really your purpose and how are you fulfilling your purpose or are you fulfilling your purpose and if so, how do you then help other individuals to fulfill their purpose? I don't think that, you know, um, we as individuals leave, leave for ourselves, but then we leave for other individuals as well. And if you can make a change, um, you know, just for one individual, or if you can assist just one individual, that's enough. Because you never know what kind of impact you're making to that individual. It could be that, you know, is that one individual but then you have open doors for many other thousand individuals through that individual so if you have that opportunity to do that and if you know that you can help that individual that someone that individual to make a difference in their life um do it you know don't do it without hesitation do it without looking back and do it without expecting anything in return because at times we get so entangled with um, either loyalty type of thing or with kind of friendships that, you know what, um, if you do this for me, then I do that for, for you. Or I did that for, for that individual, but then they were not able to do that for me. And we forget that, you know, we were a channel of blessing to that individual. And we should continue to do that, you know, without expecting anything in return. And... Yeah, that's basically what I realized. And what I realized is that, you know what, there's so much potential and there's so much that I can do. There's so much that, um, you know, I can start and there's so much that I can finish in, in less than the period that I've uh, set for myself or in less than the period that it expected for an individual to, to, to finish that project. And, you know, just opening my heart and my mind to receive inspiration and ideas from you know different um individuals or different uh books it's been quite a learning curve and i don't take this weeks these weeks for granted um in fact excited for the fact that you know what i'm at home and i get this ample of time to work on myself and you know to prepare even after i mean can you imagine um it's gonna be may the fifth month for fourth month fifth month something like that it's gonna be the fifth month and you know by then you'll be left with seven months and still be entangled with so many things that you are expected to do yet you forget about the self and the self is you being true to yourself and you know you just fulfilling what you are supposed to be f to be fulfilling not what other individuals are supposed to be fulfilling and then you just taking it because you know it's trendy or it's i don't know it's fun and yeah so basically our journeys are different and this is more of a reflection or reassurance that b you're doing great you're doing well um you're healing you progressing keep your head up and you know drowning and keep being authentic so that's what i realized and that's what um i'm grateful for basically i'm grateful for the process of healing the process of learning the process of rediscovering um you know certain talents certain um ideas rediscovering some of the things that i've you know dug and just put a pot plant so that you know i cannot access them or just cemented um them under instead of cementing my name 
on it and branding it as something that is of you know that is by me that's something that i created or that's something that um you know i i blessed or something that i've made a great impact on so it was quite a grateful yeah it's 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 a it's a it's a week or weeks full of gratitude full of mind opening full of reassurance full of realignment full of it's just full of all these positive things and you know it's quite amazing that while a lot of individuals i was telling my husband the other day that you know while a lot of people are so uncertain like i find myself at peace funny enough i'm so much at peace and it feels right to be here it feels right to be you know doing what i do it feels right to be just um connecting or just you know um bonding with the self even more than you know i would normally do throughout the day or throughout the month because then you'll be busy doing this and that but now you are kind of forced to think if kind of forced to sit down and just be you you kind of forced to you know open that vision board that you had open that notepad that you had and go back to the notes that you made it's that time where you get to you know open that bible and get to understand the word of god even more because that's what i did um yeah i got to really literally eat the word of god you know it was food to the spirit and it was it was that time to nourish the spirit even more it was that time to even have time with family so i'm grateful for this few weeks for the yeah about about two weeks i'm i'm grateful for that and i even got to do more videos so this was quite a great experience for me and i want to do it again I'm kidding <laughs> yeah this um is one of those it's like you know it was like you know what this was the time where it was said for me personally and i got to create more content i got to research even more and i want to do this every time so i realized that also with the talk show um you know should be bringing more content and just engaging with you guys and get to share different perspectives so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it's one individual or two people who will be listening to these videos but if they get something i know that i would have done my part so the 21 day lockdown and now extended to the april lockdown it worked for my good everything worked for my good and i'm happy about it and i said that on the uh also on my last day of 21 or 21 day lockdown rather i will do a plan on what's gonna happen next so what's next what's after the lockdown and i've done that um i'm not done with it because i felt like you know what i still need to sit down and pray about it think about it and just talk to god about it about what's gonna happen after this what does it mean for um people call it the spiritual awakening um you know what does it mean for me as a christian and what does it mean for the plans that i you know i've made and how will i execute them not forgetting my mandate um not forgetting the fact that i am an ambassador for christ and i have to uh you know show that i am an ambassador for christ so what will make me unique and what will make me stand out rather also or you know what makes me me basically and what makes me be that individual that you want to listen to every day yeah so yeah that's what i learned uh and that's what i went through through these 21 day lockdown and what did you guys go through tell me about it but otherwise this is it and i'll be coming back with another video very soon and yeah i can't wait to go back to my crib so that i can change clothes because i was really expecting to uh, visit for a short while and 
lockdown happened so i found myself with a few outfits and stuck at home well they say i'm safe at home i'm safe at home and yeah been fine <laughs>